The Southern and Middle Belt Forum has condemned attack on the Abiyokuta residence of the Nobel Laureate Professor Wale Shoyinka by Fulani Headspin. So her reporters learned that Wale Shoyinka had moved to Lagos in the meantime following the attack and one of the headers has been arrested. It was also learned that the rest ran away leaving their cows behind. A source in the area told Sahara reporters that the police and some hunters in the area have taken possession of the cows. In a statement issued by the Forum on Wednesday, signed by Yinka Odumaki Southwest, Chief Guy Ikoku Southeast, Senator Basi Henshaw South South, and Dr. Isua Dogo Middle Belt. The group described the attack on the professor as a painful development. The group also urged President Muhammad Buhari to caution Fulani headsmen in the country, saying their criminal activities could cause division in Nigeria. The statement reads, Hours after Nobel laureate Professor Wale Shoyinka warned this country that the activities of Fulani headsmen could lead to a civil war and urged the president to denounce them clearly to show he is the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and not the president of the Fulanese. The headsmen stormed the elder statesman's residence in Abiyokuta around 1 p.m. on Tuesday and caused serious scare before the professor called in the police. It is a painful development that headers will not even give a scant regard to a man of Walishoyinka's stature. In their madness to let loose on Nigeria with no authority to call them to order. If there are people still living in denial about the intention of these criminals and those shielding them, there is, no, uh, there is no further evidence than this. We do not know what they have that they are playing this roulette, but we are sure when a blind man says we have to settle this stony ourselves, it is either he is stepping on or clutching one. We also want to warn them of the implications of hurting a man like Wale Shoyinka with the fragile unity of the country. Let President Buhari know that these criminals are working hard to make him the last president of one Nigeria. In the same vein, the Women Arise and Center for Change condemned the attack on Wale Shoyinka. A statement signed by the president of the group, Joe Okei Odumaki, described the attack as a confirmation that Nigeria is on the edge of precipice. The group urged the security agencies to accost the perpetrators and bring them to justice. The statement reads, After a confirmation from Nobel laureate Professor Wale Shoyinka, that some headers struck at his Abeokuta home on Tuesday at about 1 p.m., leading to a siege on the world literary figure, we can now safely say that Nigeria is at the edge of the precipice. Wale Shoyinka had warned the country last weekend of how close Nigeria is to a civil war if President Muhammad Buhari did not act fast. Instead of the president acting, his media aides said he would become a talkative if he continued to speak on Meyeti Allah. Nigeria is dying before our very eyes, and its death pang is what the attack on Wale Shoyinka symbolized. 
We hope security agencies will still have their guts to accost the assailants and bring them to justice. Although the prognosis does not look good at all. A video was shared on the social media where a man stated that Fulani headsmen who attacked Professor Wale Shoyinka had been arrested by the police in Ogun State. However, when Sahara reporters contacted the police spokesperson in Ogun, Abimbola Oyeyemi, he said he could not confirm the incident as he had yet to get full details from the divisional police officer of the area where the incident occurred. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? As it were, as you can see, Nigeria is dying before our very eyes. If a man of the stature of uh, Professor Wallace Shoyinka is being attacked, his residence attacked, then it shows that nobody is safe and that anybody can be attacked. And this is what people have been talking about and that the president does not seem to see reasons or see things in that same light. It is sad and unfortunate. How long are we going to continue like this and for how long will this particular attack continue? It is sad and unfortunate. Things like this should not be encouraged and should uh, be condemned wholeheartedly. If a man of Walesha Inka's statue and uh, apart, uh, that a man of his statue and status, as it were, can be attacked by the Fulani headsmen, then you can see that nobody is safe. Maybe the next person might be uh, the, pre the former president, Olushegu Obasanjo. So it is really, really sad and unfortunate. The Fulani headsmen crisis and the attack or Fulani uh, men attack in the country is becoming something else. It is taking uh, a turn that it shouldn't be taken. We are dealing with, we are, we, are, we are not even done with the issue of the uh, Boko Haram bandits. Now the Fulani headsmen is beginning to prove to be uh, a serious uh, issue in, the, in our hands. This is really, really sad and uh, unfortunate. Well, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Well, drop by the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post news stories. Endeavor to share these news stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.